Everyone needs a pom-pom sweater, so let's make one. We're gonna start with a crew neck short sleeve sweater that I picked up on Amazon for about $20, and we're gonna lay it on top of a big piece of poster board. I'm gonna use my pencil to trace around the sweater. This way I can create a form that I can slide into the sweater so that it keeps it shape. Go ahead and cut out the poster board so that you can create your shirt form. I've got the form fitted inside the sweater, but there's a little extra space over here that didn't get any love with the poster board, so I'm just gonna cut some pieces to fit that room. Fit that room. Now we're ready to put our pom-poms on. I grabbed a big bag of eight millimeter pom-poms from Amazon. I find that these are the best size. You could go bigger, you could go smaller. I like these. Now we're going to start arranging our pom-poms. Here's a really important tip that I learned. You don't wanna just scatter them everywhere because it will look bad. You really do wanna place them strategically in sort of a pattern. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Starting up by the shoulders, place one pom-pom, then stagger them in a way that they're about two, three inches apart. Once you have the body of the sweater done, you'll wanna move over to the sleeves and use the same idea. Space them out about two to three inches apart and carefully pick your color so you don't have too much of one color concentrated in one area. Now that we have all the pom-poms placed on the front of the sweater, I'm going to use a pair of tweezers and this small tube of Beacon Fabri-Tac. I find that this smaller tube is much easier to manage when we're dealing with little tiny pom-poms like we are. Now, working one pom-pom at a time, use your tweezers to pick it up and squirt a generous dollop of Fabri-Tac into place and place down the pom-pom. By doing it this way, you remember where all your pom-poms should be glued down and you can glue them right into place as you lift it up. Don't be afraid to be generous with the Fabri-Tac glue. It will dry clear and a lot of it will seep down into the fabric of the sweater so you won't end up with big globs of glue in your finished project. We're gonna give this about five minutes to set, then we're going to flip the entire project over. Don't worry, they're not gonna fall off. And we'll start on the back because nothing drives me crazier than a shirt that only has a pattern on the front. We gotta do the back too. We've been letting this sit for only five minutes and look, pom-poms are staying put and we're gonna flip this guy over and work on the back. The nice thing about this step is by turning it over, you get a little extra weight on those pom-poms which helps them stick into place. Once you're done gluing on the back pom-poms, you're done. There's no sewing involved, just Fabri-Tac glue to make your own pom-pom sweater. After about an hour or two, this will be dry enough to take out the form, and then after a day, it's ready to wear, ready to wash. I would just recommend washing it on delicate to make sure none of those pom-poms pop off. But if they do, grab some Fabri-Tac, put another one on.